So recently Hobby Lobby has come out with unfinished wood projects that they put out in their seasonal decor. This has been going on for maybe a year or two and so in today's video we're going to talk about whether or not those unfinished wood projects are worth the money and whether or not you should go out and get them today. So let's jump in to the projects. start with one of the easier projects that you can pick up and it's this large pumpkin. It's totally blank. I've done a different projects, a couple actually, with this same pumpkin last year and I'll link that video down in the description box. But all we're going to do is start out painting this with a navy color. I'm just using acrylic paint here. We're going to cover it with our navy paint and then once that's dry I'm going to take some white um, chalk paint and I'm going to use this foam uh, kind of stenciling brush is a circle and we're going to add some polka dots to our pumpkin. Once I have the polka dots on and you want to make sure these are fully dry, we're going to take the hello fall sign they also had in the unfinished wood area. We're going to color that white as well with our folk art chalk paint and then we're ready to assemble this one. All we're going to do is add some hot glue to our hello fall sign. We're going to put that onto our polka dots and then that is it. I really love how this one turned out and last year it was one of my favorite projects so I definitely give this one a thumbs up. I think it's worth the price. It's large. You can't find a pumpkin this size anywhere else that's unfinished that gives you the option of doing what you want with it. Here it's styled for you guys. Let me know what you think about this one. project we're going to pick up the three pumpkin pumpkin stack. It is original price is $5.99 and so on sale it is $3.59. We're going to cut out a pattern here before we start with our project and this is kind of a fun idea if you need to do something that's raised on another project. I'm going to lay my copy paper down and I'm just going to use my pencil and kind of run my pencil over the entire pumpkin. That's going to give me the raised edges are going to be darker and then I'm going to use that section to cut out my pattern. So I go ahead and I do that for each one of the pumpkins on this pumpkin stack and then I'm ready to create um, the pieces that I want to go there. So before I cut out any of my pieces, I'm going to go ahead and cover the pumpkins with my burnt orange acrylic paint. I love this color for fall. It's definitely one of my favorites. I'll link it down in the description box for you. So then I'm going to go ahead and cut out my fabric pieces for each one of the pumpkins. Now I'm just using some leftover fabric from the Dollar Tree along with some leftover jeans that I had, but if you have any kind of fabric on hand you can use that or Dollar Tree always has a lot of selection. Now I'm not super happy with my Dollar Tree fabric. It's probably the glue option that I used. My fabric glue was totally dried out and I had to throw it away. So I used this Aline's Crafty Glue instead. Once it dried, it kind of showed through a little bit in parts of the fabric area because the fabric is so thin. So I definitely recommend either doubling that up or using a thicker fabric but we're going to cover those parts up so it's going to work out. So we're going to go ahead and glue all of our pieces onto our pumpkin. I'm going to take some florals that I had on hand. These all came from the Dollar Tree and we're just going to arrange them into each section of our pumpkin. So I start at the bottom and I want them to each have a different type of floral so I just go ahead and make a little arrangement. Using hot glue I go ahead and hot glue them all down. I take a flower that also came from the Dollar Tree, add that into the middle and then that is it for this project. I really like how this one turned out. I used the same pumpkin stack last year. That video will be down in the description box for you. I think overall it gets a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. For this project, we're going to use this ship lap pumpkin. Now they've had this one for several years. I've done a few projects with these. I'll link those older videos down in my description box. It retails for $4.49, which is not on their 40% off chart, but it roughly comes out to around $2.99. 
Now we're going to do this a little different today. We're going to paint it all with some white folk art chalk paint and instead of using like paper or anything like that we're going to use a stencil. So this stencil I got at Walmart several years ago. I'm pretty sure they still have it. I've seen it there. If I can find it I'll link it for you in the description box but you're going to use different like three of the four patterns here. Once we have our pumpkin dry. We're going to take some painter's tape. We're going to tape off where the shiplap line is and then we're going to put our stencil down. Now the key to stenciling is to make sure that your stencil brush has as little paint as possible. That will make sure that you don't have any bleeding or run through. That's where most of the problems come from when stenciling is that you have too much paint in your brush. You just need to make sure you get off any excess paint before you start doing the stencil. Once we have gone through each of the patterns, we have this super cute pattern pumpkin. So to finish it off, we're gonna add these leaves that I got from Hobby Lobby. They have a huge leaf selection there. It's super fun. My favorite is the navy and brown ones. Let me know if you have a favorite leaf color. So once I have these leaves, I'm just gonna hot glue them up at the top. I took this leather leaf that I got from Hobby Lobby last year, or no, I think it actually came from the Dollar Tree last year. I'm gonna take the strap part it has a little knot. I'm just going to cut that off and glue it up where the hole is and then we're going to glue that over our leaves. That is it for this project. I really like this pumpkin. I think it's versatile. I think it leads to lots of different styles and lots of different projects. So this one gets a thumbs up for me. Let me know what you think about this one. this far in the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel I would love to have you be a part of my family leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're interested or ever craft with the Hobby Lobby unfinished wood so for this project, we're going to create the wooden garland. I think this one's new. I don't remember seeing it last year. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Let me know if you've seen this one before. But I went ahead and picked this up. It, original price is $4.99. It makes it $2.99 while it's on sale. We're going to go ahead and we're going to just use these as a pattern. I picked up this burlap at the Dollar Tree. I've had it for a while. I thought it'd be fun to make this garland. Now I know these are untraditional colors for fall but I know everyone has their own style so this is just for some inspiration in case you're into untraditional colors. So I'm going to go ahead and make these a pattern using a sharpie. I just trace around each of them, cut out the pieces of the burlap. I'm using my Aline's glue again and we're just going to cover each of the wood pieces with the Aline's glue and we're going to attach our burlap piece. Now I chose to make some shabby bows here for these. That is just where I take ribbon that I have and I just make little pieces. I crisscross them. I'm also using some pieces from burlapfabric.com. If you want to check that out, I'll have the link to their website down in my description box. I really love this linen ribbon. It's kind of like using fabric ribbon, which is one of my favorite things to use as a ribbon. And I just love the polka dots in this one. So once I have all these little um, pieces of material, I just take a piece of jeans and tie it off in the middle. If you're not using jeans, you're just going to use a piece of fabric or another piece of ribbon. Tie that off in the middle, it becomes part of your bow and it looks very professional. Once you have those all completed, all we're going to do is take some hot glue, glue them to the top of each of the projects, and then that is it. Now, I really love how this project turned out. However, this wooden garland is so heavy. I had a hard time hanging it up on my mantle. You're definitely going to need something to anchor it down wherever you're at. Um, like putting it whether it's on a shelf or your mantle so this gets a thumbs down for me just because it's so heavy and I'm not really sure that it is functional like if you want to put it in several different places but here it is styled for you guys let me know what you think about this one and if you'd be willing to try this heavy garland
So I have saved the two biggest projects for last. I did also save them for last at crafting because I was a little intimidated by these two. Now we're going to talk about quality here first. They are priced at $17.99. The sale price makes them $10.79. Now that's a little bit on a higher price for some unfinished wood. However, these are super thick signs. They are high quality. I personally think they get a thumbs up in terms of the price and quality that you have here. Um, we're going to find out now if we think crafting with them is worth it as well. So we're going to start with the uh, pumpkin stack. Now originally I tried to stay within the lines of all the lines of the pumpkin but I quickly realized that I had gone over a couple of the areas and I wasn't really sure how to get the paint off of those lines. I'm using copper acrylic paint here so I just decided to instead try to just cover the entire thing. So the entire inside of all the pumpkins I covered with my copper metallic paint. Now I did take careful consideration on the outside of the pumpkin only because there is a lip of that unfinished wood and it would look funny if we painted all the way to the edge. Once I have that painted and it's dried, I took my gold acrylic paint and I went over the lines of the inside of the pumpkins. Now you could go as careful as you want. I just kind of went in the general area to kind of cover up any of that um, pieces that were shining through there. And then that is all I'm gonna do for the inside of the pumpkin. I do paint the stem gold and then I take one of my favorite leaves from Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna glue that up in the area where the leaf was. I decided to add another shabby bow here. Um, this one I just had on hand from a different project, but it's the same process. You're just gonna crisscross your ribbons, jeans, whatever you have. You're gonna tie that off in the middle and then you have this super fun bow. I also have some of that burlap fabric ribbon in this one which is definitely my favorite. I ran out. This is the end of that. I'm gonna have to pick up some more because I really truly loved crafting with that ribbon. So that is it for this project. Let me know what you guys think about this one. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up although I thought this would be the easier of the two projects to craft with and I found that I thought this was the harder of the two. So you're gonna let me know down in the comments which of these two bigger projects you think you'd want to work with. Now I saved my favorite project for last. I don't usually do that. I usually try to have it at the beginning of the middle, but I saved him for last. He was so fun to craft with. So again, he's $17.99, sale price $10.79. He gets a thumbs up for the quality. He, I was a little worried about the pattern on the front and how I was gonna do that because obviously these patterns lend to painting rather than any kind of other like mixed media. But we're gonna use some other projects or products for him as well. So I'm going to start by painting him and I'm just using some acrylic paint I had on hand. We're going to cover his overalls blue like a jean material. I decided to go with Americana theme here so his shirt is red and then we're going to go ahead paint his nose gold. I decided to go ahead and paint the straw pieces gold as well even though we're going to cover those up here in a second. His hat is also blue with a red stripe to match his shirt and then I painted his feet black for black shoes. The only part of this project that I don't really like is the middle piece between his legs. It warrants just this sort of a weird unfinished wood area there because the shoes like you're painting the shoes at the bottom so um, but after I get him all done I I really don't care about it after that. But once we have that done, we're ready to add our other sort of embellishments. So I took some raffia that I got from Hobby Lobby. We're gonna just cut it into pieces and we're going to apply it wherever there was straw. So that's on his hands, on his legs, up by his head. You can put as much or as little as you want. I was trying to cover up any of the patterned pieces that they had drawn on there. It's okay if some of the gold showed through. I just didn't want a lot of the patterned pieces to show through. 
Once I had that done, I took some fabric I had on hand. I cut out some little scraps to make for his patches on his pants. And then I also cut out a piece of fabric to make the pocket on his um, overalls. Now I only glued around the outside edge and so the pocket is open at the top if I choose to put anything in it. I also picked up this sunflower at Hobby Lobby. We're going to apply the sunflower up at the top of his head where the sunflower piece was and we're going to cover that up with this super beautiful sunflower. That is, oh, I forgot about the scarf. <laughs> so for his scarf, we're going to go ahead and take that same material. I did not cut out a pattern here. I wanted it to be fuller and thick there. So all I did was tie it around his neck and then kind of fluff it out and glue it on. I go ahead and cut off any excess on the back and I glue that down as well. And when it gets turned over, he has this really cute fluffy scarf. Now that is it. And I love this guy. I want to make several of these. My mom also wanted one, so we're going to make her one. But he is definitely worth the price of that $10.79. There are so many things you can do with him, and they can definitely be customized to your style. So he gets a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to craft with him. I would love to see the pictures if you do any of this unfinished wood. So you can always send them to me at a perfect place to start 78 at gmail.com or send them to me on Instagram. Here he is styled for you guys. Let me know what you think about him. So my overall rating of the unfinished wood at Hobby Lobby is a really big giant thumbs up. I love using their unfinished wood products there. I've done a lot of different DIYs with those projects and I think that they turn out beautiful. They are a little bigger and oversized than other places and they're definitely a higher quality wood. Let me know if you're going to make any of these projects and like I mentioned before, send them to me at a perfect place to start 78 at gmail.com and I'll feature them here in another video. Thank you so much for being here. If you have made it to the end of this video, I give you a big thank you. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!